Hello, welcome to Skatewine. I'm now using my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. That was a mouthful. It's a why can't they just call it the camera or something nice and simple? Skatewine. We're in lo lockdown 2.0 and can't use our local skate facility, so I'm going to go and revisit a 2004 skate part uh, put together by Joe Hat and back in the day it was called One Way Skate Design. So we're going to go through this together. Uh, I apologise in advance. Here we go. Oh, I've got me alcohol-free beer as well. Beaut skate park. It's still there. Out of all these skate parks, it's still there. Now that backside flip, I, that backside flip took me forever. Thanks, Joe, for holding on. My arms lying on that bit of metal, it was a summer's day, August I think it was, and my arm actually is gets burnt here. Wooden waves, which is now concrete waves in New Key. I just realised in that in this scene, I'm wearing my hat slightly screw with. And that was because of uh, Nick, is it Nick Jensen? Nick Jensen? But it was a blue blueprint rider who did it in Day in the City and I used to copy it. Love it. Tennis courts of Barnesville. So that, that right there is Launceston and 50-50 skate, uh, 50, 50 skate store in Bristol turned up to this. Danny Wainwright, all of 50-50. Look at it. It's launched in, and there's a few... I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of skate footage here that's proper 90s, and it's in the 2000s. Just random ramps in the middle of nowhere. SRP, new SRP, which is now old new SRP. I grew up in that place, Biddyford Skate Park, which is now no longer there. I didn't even know I could do backside 360 all these. It's new to me. That's a switch ollie right there. Strand, that, there, that slam winded the crap out of me. And it was a competition. Again, 90 style, random ramps, just dotted around. And I got back up and kept skating, even though I could barely breathe. And Joe was right there with his camera. That... The catch on that kickflip, I am sorry, but this is 2004. Look at that! Blunt, blunt grab back in, fakey. I didn't know I could do backside flips like that. Bam, bam, adios. Oh, they were my favourite shoe. They still are my favourite shoe. That spot there, I went past that recently in Barnstable and it is crusty, there's weeds, all the tiles are kind of broken and they've got plants growing out of them. Couldn't skate it now. I mean, you could barely skate it there. It's tiny. But now it's just redundant completely. Melon Fakey was my all-time favourite trick. BMX are getting in the way. Right there, that, right? That wrestling move that Dan Larkham does to me, this whole field, a whole field there that we could have played on, and this, we decided to play, play fight right next to this drain, and Mar you can hear it, it's like a coconut, it's like gunk. Not, not me for six, that did. Big old kick foot down Billy Third, backside flip that took me ages. Look at the, I mean, I know I've never had style, but that is uh, horrendous. It's Adidas shorts with a Hunter's Jule. I mean, we won't go into how terrible any of that footage was. Biddy for jump box, I miss that thing. The camera angles on this, look at that. Joe Hat, amazing. 
That's right. You heard it here first. 2004, Rob Ayton. Street skateboarding, five stair. Not just a picnic bench, no slide. Top, top of the picnic bench, no slide. That's right. That's right, people. Back to wooden waves. The angle on this is lovely. Look at that. Great. Joe Hatt, great filmer. He's now a professional musician, so... That ollie was weird as anything. Ollie into something going upwards. But this must be like my fifth or sixth time skating vert. And this is my first ever rock fakie. It's a shame you can't see all the cat coming out of my pants there. Another backside flip. I don't do backside flips anymore, so that's one I used to love apparently. And a crooked grind. I can't believe I do a kickflip 50-50. I couldn't even do a kickflip 50-50 now. Kickflip fakie. This backside flip. I, I'm just disappointed in myself. I was trying it for maybe three hours and I kept landing and falling forwards or falling backwards and just never managing to land it. And the one I landed, I landed about just over, about just over 90 degrees and rolled away to the corner. And then Seb hugs me, which you can't do in COVID times. Frontside 360 at Billy for Skate Park. Oh, I miss that jump box so much. I have to say, this is possibly the only one and only time the first and last time I've had style. I mean, look at the roll away from this ollie let. Oh, the steez. 360 flip to fake, rock to fakey. And I don't know why, but all of that footage ends on a kick flip indie on a jump box. I mean, I think it was quite an achievement back then for me, but I probably would have ended on the no slide down the picnic bench, I think. So there we go. I think that's everything right there. Yeah, that's everything. So, yeah, Joe Hart, thanks for making that. Well, thanks for filming that for me. Um, or us. It was one-way skate design. There was a number of parts that came out. I bet no one else has their skate part. 2004. That's, what, almost 17 years ago that would have been made now. Half those skate parts aren't even there anymore. I think Bude's the only one left. 